Okay, now we're ready for part three of the Skinning the Boat series here, and this is where we're going to show you how to shrink the fabric. Now, this side, I put a lot of wrinkles on this side to show you that they can be taken out, because when I first started making these boats, I had a lot of wrinkles. So, we're going to show you how to, how to basically go through, and just like uh, when you're putting the skin on, you start in the middle. And so you come up here to the top, and I don't know if you can see this or not from there. This stuff shrinks up very quickly. I mean, you can see right there, just that little bit, that's already tight. See, and you can see, I don't know if you, can you see the wrinkles real well? Now watch this wrinkle right here. Just put the iron on there. And that wrinkle is gone. So they come out very easily. But what you're trying to avoid is creases. Uh, creases don't like to come out. So we're gonna go through the top right here, pull a little bit out. You can see how well all that's just shrink, shrinking down nice and tight. Now when you get down on the side here, you can see this is, this is a crease. So what you're gonna do is when you find a bunch of creases together, you're just gonna try and move them aside. So you'll take this one and a lot of times the easiest thing to do is just go underneath like this, pull it out, run the iron where the crease was, just work your way down through and that crease is gone. If it's creased down here, do the same thing. I may have made a few too many wrinkles in this one. Watch your fingers. Just go through and pull them out. Just watch your fingers. <laughs> and you can see that area had a couple good sized creases in it. Now it's tight. This isn't a crease, this is a wrinkle. So the wrinkles you can just go through. You don't necessarily put your iron right on the loose spot. You put it on the side, pull it one direction, pull it on the other side, pull it the other direction, and then go across the middle like that. Tight. Not quite tight. This has a crease right here. So, you know, we didn't get it quite tight enough, so we're gonna go back in, just pull the crease out. Go back through, and the iron setting is the same as it was before. It's halfway in the middle of the cotton linen setting. So we're not gonna do the whole boat, but when you get down to the bottom, you're gonna have a lot of these little wrinkles and creases. These will come right out. Just if you have an actual crease on a, on a stringer, pull it a little bit, and then apply heat to the area you just pulled out. That'll also pull out some of these creases the other direction. So you see if you pull and get that crease done right there, you see it's pulling that crease out as you go along. So that whole area that was filled with all those little creases, all those little wrinkles, those are all gone now. And the difference between a crease and a wrinkle is, is a wrinkle has kind of a wave in it like this. A crease is actually something that if you press that down, it's going to it's going to have a very tight edge on it, or a very sharp edge. So you try and just push those to the point where they aren't going to do that, and then iron around them. And you're always trying to pull the fabric away from the, the ends of the boat. Uh, let's see. Let me let me do some. Get this angle right here and it'll show them pulling away from the ends of the boat. Did you get that? Where I'm gonna put heat right here. Watch that, watch that wrinkle. See how that wrinkle disappeared? Now that's a crease. So we're gonna go up underneath, flatten it out a little bit. A little heat on it. A little heat on either side of it. And the crease is gone. Look, let's show an end here. When you get to the end, you're going to have, it's going to be much flatter, it's going to go much smoother. You can see basically you're just going to make sure you don't have any creases. This isn't a crease, this will come right out. You see the ends will just come right up. Pull in nice and tight right against the stringers. See how quickly that goes. 
I, I, the one thing I forgot to mention is make sure before you start shrinking, make sure you've gone through and that you don't have any loose spots on your, uh, on your attachment to the gunnels. If like that spot right there is a little bit loose, if you have a loose spot right here where it's not attached, when you go to shrink it, it's going to pull it up. You don't want that. So just make sure that you've reattached it to the gunnels very well before you uh, start doing this. And it's actually kind of fun. It goes pretty quickly. It's fun to watch the boat take shape. And that was a big crease there. Took a little bit of extra work. And we couldn't pull it down because there wasn't enough material, so that one we pulled it up. Plenty of material. This stuff shrinks about 10 or 15%, so like we were saying earlier, don't worry about leaving something like this because you can see it pops, pops right out. And you do the whole boat that way. And after the boat's done, put this down before I burn myself. After the boat's done, let it sit for about an hour or so, let it cool off, then come back in and feel the boat. Like right there, I can feel that spot's not quite as tight as the spots around it. So go through and just feel the boat. Any place that, uh, any place where you feel it's a little bit loose, obviously in here it's loose because I haven't done it yet. Just hit it again, tighten it up. You want it universally tight all the way across there. You want it to get it just as consistently tight as possible. And that's how you skin a boat.